Hello teachers and welcome back. This is lesson two, a better quiz. In this lesson, we will be using an already created template and then we will add on to it. This helps us save time and focus on exactly what we came here to do, build quizzes. We will however break down what has been done in the template so that we will be able to rebuild everything you see yourself, if you should want to. Templates in AppShed are pretty cool. They allow you to import a complete or partially completed app into your own app, helping you save time and learn how other apps are made. Before we can load a template in, we will need to create a new app. So if your previous app is still open, go ahead and close it. Click close. Click the red plus button. As always, let's give the app a name so we can keep track of it on our account. Click on settings. In the text box name, name type. Type a better quiz. Click save. Now with everything done, let's go ahead and load the template. Click on templates. In the search bar type quiz app 2 and hit enter. Click use. Click yes. Now you will notice that your app has three new tabs in it. These tabs contain our new quiz. The first thing we need to do is remove our default tab from the app. Click on the tab named. Click delete. Click yes. The first thing we see is two buttons, a start button and view answers button. These have not been programmed yet, so they won't do anything. Click on the tab named quiz. Here we can see the quiz tab of the app. The concept is almost the exact same as the last app. The correct answers lead to the next question. The incorrect answers don't do anything yet. The quiz app is partially done, but we have a lot of work to do to finish it off. What needs to be done? This template is not completely finished app. There is still a lot to do before we can finish it. These are as follows. Link the buttons on the home screen. Program the incorrect buttons and change background color. Let's start by adding a background color to our app to make it look a little better. Click settings. Click styles. Click standard screen. In the text box named color type capital letters C6E9AF. Click save. C6E9AF is a hexadecimal color value. It basically telling the computer exactly what color to make the screen. Next, we will link the home screen buttons to the respective pages. Let's start by linking the start quiz button. Click the image with start quiz in it. Click edit. Click action. Click change action. Click jump to tab. Click the tick next quiz tab. Click save. Now finally we just need to do the same with the view answers button. So if you can do this by yourself, make sure it jumps to the answers tab. Finally, we can start coding the quiz. This is the fun part of the quiz where we learn how to use a new action to make our quiz more interactive and easier for us to make use of coding. You should notice that the correct answers already have their actions set to load the user to the next question. This is using the exact same concept as we learned in lesson one. However, the incorrect answer has no action whatsoever. Let's add some code that will pop a message up on the user's screen to alert them that it is incorrect. First things first, let's make sure you're on the correct page. Click on the quiz tab. Click navigate. Let's edit our first incorrect answer, which is diamonds. Villagers in Minecraft definitely don't trade in diamonds. 
So let's make sure the user knows it's incorrect if they click on it. Click on Diamonds. Click Edit. Click Action. Click Change Action. Click on Blockly under Coding. This is where we will write the code to control this button in the visual programming language Blockly, where you will see a bunch of different categories for different kinds of commands. We want to use a command that creates a pop-up message. This can be found under JavaScript. Click JavaScript. Click and drag the block named Alert Text and then Release. At this point, our code will create a pop-up when diamond is clicked. However, it won't say anything yet as we haven't added our text. Click text. Click the drag the block onto the alert text block and then release. Now we have a place to add some text. Between the hyphens, type wrong with an exclamation mark, click save. Testing and finishing question one. With the coding done on the diamond button, let's go ahead and test it. Click on diamond, click navigate. You should now see a pop-up that says wrong, exclamation mark. Take what you have learned here and go edit the other two incorrect buttons in the same way. Hint. The other two incorrect answers are pounds and wheat. Congratulations, you're at question two. For question two, we could do the exact same thing as we did in question one, but this would be a little boring, wouldn't it? So when the user clicks on an incorrect answer in question two, let's have something interesting happen. Let's have it open a video of someone saying, wrong. First things first, we need to get to our quiz page. On question one, click on Emerald. Click navigate. You should now be on question two. Let's edit our first incorrect answers. Click lava plus dirt. Click edit. Click action. Click change action. Click Blockly under Coding. Now we can add our code. Our goal is to have a YouTube video open when this button is clicked. Fun. We will need to find that block that opens YouTube videos. Step one, click AppShed in the Blockly editor. Click and drag the block called Go to YouTube Video into the editor. Now we need to add the video link as a text item onto this block. We will give you the link. Click text in the Blockly editor. Click and drag the block onto the go to YouTube video block and then release. In the text box paste this link. Click save. Testing and finishing question two. Now, when we click on lava plus dirt, which is the incorrect answer, it will open a video letting the user know that they did not click the correct answer. The video we found is of Jonathan Frakes saying wrong a bunch of times. <laughs> we think it's pretty funny, but you could use any video you want, of course. The final task for this question is to go back and add this video link to the other incorrect answers the exact same way we did this one. Hint, the other two incorrect answers are water plus wood and none of the above. Our last question in the quiz is question three. The incorrect answer is the ender dragon. For the final question, you can set the action to whatever you want. We encourage you to experiment with different Blockly blocks to have something really cool when the incorrect answer is clicked. Before you start, make sure you're on question three. In question two, click on lava plus water. Click navigate. 
Once you have finished adding your own action to question three, click on the Ender Dragon button to finish the quiz. On the final page, you'll notice a button which takes the user back to the home page. This, isn't, this hasn't been programmed yet. Let's program it quickly. Click the button named Back to Start. Click Edit. Click Action. Click Change Action. Click Jump to Tab. Click Home. Click Save. Now, when we click on this button, it will take us back to the home page to start the quiz again or view the answers. Our quiz is finished. It definitely feels a lot more polished than our first one, but it's still missing some cool features like scorekeeping. In lesson three, we will be taking a look at how to build an even better quiz that will also track the user score. Our second quiz is done. Of course, like with all app shared apps, we can publish this and share it with our friends or view it on a mobile devices. Click publish. Click start. You'll now get a thumbs up when it's done publishing. We can now share it to our mobile devices. All you have to do is click share, click QR code, scan the QR code with your mobile device and test the app. Are you ready to build an even better quiz app? Lesson three awaits.